This six hour chart for Cody might not look like much, but what's happening on the zoomed out chart, the daily, the weekly chart, absolutely incredible for Cody holders. And I know there's a lot of Cody holders out there. I wanted to go over some important charts, namely this weekly chart and update from a video that I did pretty recently, a very big move happening with Cody right now. So stick around, hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe right now. If you're unaware, which most of you probably are aware, new era for stablecoins begins. Jed is live on mainnet. This was the news from January 31st. Big deal. Before we dive into the charts, and here's what the daily chart looks like, something special getting set up, I just want to point something out. This was a tweet, and this was from just yesterday, Cody. They said, Cody's treasury just received the first batch of Jed operational fees. This is important in regards to what we're about to talk about. A conversion of ADA to Cody has just been completed on the open market and the Cody has been funneled to the treasury as a reward to its participants. Max APY is now 118%. The reason I'm saying that's important is because there's been so much speculation, not just about Jed stablecoin and what Cody was doing with this uh, stablecoin, but the buildup of the ecosystem itself and a really huge piece of the ecosystem itself is the treasury and the growth of the treasury and how that treasury really fuels the entire Cody ecosystem. And we've been in a speculative phase waiting for all of these things to really actually start happening, and it's starting to happen. And I think that's really critical just to point out before we start looking at the charts to kind of get a gauge of, well, where is the ecosystem at in terms of growth? And that's where it is. And it's been a long time coming as we've tracked Cody, and much of the market has been tracking Cody. Cody's been getting a lot of attention. So let's dig into the technical analysis and talk about Cody Price just to get a gauge of it. It's something I'm watching closely. This is just my view of these charts. That is all it is. It's my opinion. And this is how I see the Cody charts. And I want to start with a video that I did nine days ago. Check this out real quick. So for me, it's kind of a left shoulder potential, a head, downside, back to this 50-week moving average resistance, could be resistance. If we get rejected, are we coming back down to start testing the 20-week moving average? So let's look at how this played out. So you can actually see in this video, let me zoom in on the video, this space here between where Cody was trading, just above 11 cents, and that blue line, the 50-week moving average. This was the area, the speculative area of resistance that we were talking about going into everything that was transpiring with Jed. If that hype kind of brought it to that area, was there resistance? And then after the hype, does it fall? This is how it played out, almost just so brilliantly on this, on this chart, this weekly chart. 50-week moving average resistance. You can see the wick, Cody getting that last pop to the upside amidst all of the, all of the Jed launch hype, and you can just see it playing out. Now, intermingled with this was just what was happening with markets in general. Markets in the last few days even have just kind of consolidated a little bit, right? They, they didn't keep pumping, so to speak. And so Cody... In regards to this move, I think two things were happening. Number one, this was the Jed launch happening and kind of that hype fading, and it was just markets in general. So the 50-week moving average meeting this area, when all of that is happening, the resistance makes so much sense. But what makes this really exciting, there's a couple couple things. Number one, this speculative inverse head and shoulders, and it's, it's still kind of speculative because it hasn't played out perfectly is in place still, and even more so, obviously. We got the resistance at this neckline confluent with this resistance area at the 50-week moving average. We've come back down. So the right shoulder now is in formation. It is happening. That's number one that, that is exciting. Now, number two that is exciting is it doesn't really matter what chart it is, but we can take this because we're, we're looking at this Cody chart. Whenever there's an inverse head and shoulders in play and there's a right shoulder setup, in a time of indecisiveness, and I say indecis indecisiveness because you go to something like the stock market right now, kind of putting in potentially a local top. Are we coming back down? Markets as a whole, kind of indecisive. People on the edge in terms of what, what momentum is about to happen to the downside now, or is there going to be continuation to the upside? The reason that's exciting for a chart like this, and we can pivot to a daily to kind of see it more clearly, is... Upon that indecisiveness in markets, what does this right shoulder do? And the setup for the right shoulder completion could be the continuation of markets, right? So the setup and the, for, the, the formation of this pattern, which is the inverse head and shoulder, and the right shoulder completion would be in probably a scenario where stock market opens green Monday, markets keep going up, 
and and this formation actually plays out. And things get exciting when we start seeing inverse head and shoulders play out, especially for something like Cody that has just a lot of things coming to fruition for it right now. And so there's a very nice breakout target to the upside. I mean, if we're looking at this, probably just above 20 cents, 22, 23 cents to the upside. It's a rather large breakout target. Now, what's the, what's the opposite of what we're talking about here? The opposite is markets actually fail to kind of, after this brief consolidation over this weekend, they fail to go to the upside. And then what's happening for Cody? And this is kind of where things get interesting. We could have a right shoulder set up where this is a very small right shoulder. We're getting the support off this 20-day off the 100-day moving average down here just below $0.09. Cents. There could be a little downside for Cody, just to give you an idea of what that looks like. This is like a 10% drop for Cody. Cody could fall another leg down on the short term, dropping to these areas, testing these areas, and then recovering, right? It could pop to the upside. Now, either way, this could be a right shoulder, but here's the drastic downside case that we should look out for. It's these moving averages failing, and we have the big moving average, this 50-day moving average now, on this daily chart, right around just above seven cents. This is this environment where markets, unfortunately, are letting everybody down and crypto is just falling. And, and with it, the hopes and dreams of the bull market starting right now, as many people are saying, I, I disagree with the bull market starting right now, but this could be just a very bearish scenario. Cody, and it's not an overnight thing. This could just be a dwindling down or a consolidation over even a couple of weeks. It could be a couple of weeks of downside 20% to the downside to meet the 50 day. And this could still be a bullish setup for an inverse headed shoulders completion. So that is my point. We're kind of at this intersection now where we're awaiting potential upside in markets, downside in markets, kind of everybody's on edge, right? Especially with all the just interest rate data that comes out and, you know, inflation data that's coming out, things like that. So what's exciting is we get to track this right shoulder for Cody. But I think the thing I want to know and the thing I always remind myself of is in regards to moves like this, obviously, we would just like to see a very simple, small right shoulder break out to the upside, happen as fast as possible. Come on, don't let us wait. But with setups like this, especially zoomed out, it's, a, it's quite a large setup. This is going back to August. So this is all the way back in the summer, this left shoulder, the neckline. This will likely take a little patience, right? It would be very interesting to see if we do get a nice blast off, we don't have to wait around to see how this sets up, but we could see volatility to the downside before the setup truly occurs. And at the end of the day, this could end up being, and I, 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 I hesitate to say this because it's incredibly bearish to even explore the possibility, but if markets just absolutely put in new lows, this inverse head and shoulders will not be an inverse head and shoulders. Because right now, remember, it's speculative, right? We haven't had this retrace to the neckline just yet. That neckline sitting around 12, just over 12 cents. So this is what I'm watching. It's such an interesting, cool chart. And I, I really wanted to do a video on it. I know there's a lot of Cody fans out there. And I thought it would be very interesting to put the data on the screen, continue tracking this, considering we just started tracking it on this chart. The resistance played out, the neckline resistance, the 50-week moving average resistance. And this is what the weekly looks like. Will there be just another test of this neckline above that 12 cent area in the coming days? Something to look out for. If not, let's look out for two areas to the downside. And I should have pointed this out. The 20 week moving average, a big area, right around eight and a half cents. And if we go to the daily chart, this is what we're looking at. Just above that area is this 200 day moving average. So on the shorter term, eight and a half to nine cents is a very big support area we want to look out for for Cody. If we end up in a really bearish scenario, it's all breaking, then that next support is down here just above seven cents, the 50 day moving average. So those are my thoughts, everybody. Again, hit the like, hit the subscribe. It means a lot to me as, as we kind of navigate through the end of this bear market, the, the beginning of the next cycle, 2023. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.